In my opinion, CRISPR is the most important discovery since the splitting of the atom. In 1987, a team of Japanese researchers at Osaka University were studying E. coli bacteria, and they noticed something really odd in the bacteria's genome. There were five identical segments of DNA that had short, non-identical bits between them. And a bunch of other scientists started finding these weird segments of DNA in all sorts of other bacteria. They found it in so many bacteria that they decided it must be important, and it's probably time to give it a name. And they settled on the acronym CRISPR, which stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. But still, nobody really knew why it was important. By 2005, there were loads of databases of genomic sequences, and scientists figured out that the segments of DNA between the repeated parts are actually virus DNA. So bacteria have virus DNA in their own genome, but only between these short palindromic repeating parts. And this one scientist named Eugene Koonin was like, oh shit, I think I know what's going on here. Bacteria are always getting attacked by viruses. It's estimated that in the ocean, viruses kill 20% of bacteria every day. A virus will attach itself to a bacteria, inject its own information into it, and then the bacteria will become a virus-making machine until it fills up and the viruses burst out. But if the bacteria survives, it sends out an enzyme that cuts out the virus DNA, and then it squeezes the virus DNA between those palindromic repeating parts. And the next time it sees that virus, it has a mugshot to compare it to. And the mugshot gets held in a specific protein called a CRISPR-associated protein, or Cas protein for short. And Cas proteins have these really cool molecular scissors that precisely cut up the invading DNA. It unzips the virus DNA and compares it to the mugshot. And when it finds an exact copy, the Cas protein locks into place and the molecular scissors cut it up. So if it gets recognized, it can effectively stop an infection before it starts. So that's pretty cool, but we haven't gotten to the revolutionary world-changing discovery that is modern CRISPR research. In 2012, biochemical researcher at UC Berkeley, Jennifer Doudna, and her research partner, Emmanuel Charpentier, were the first to propose that Cas9 proteins could be used as a tool for gene editing. Jennifer said when the full impact of that hit her, the hairs on the back of her neck stood up. She was like, why don't we just replace the mugshot? Instead of attacking viruses, it could attack genes responsible for Huntington's, sickle cell, anemia, or hemophilia, or even cancer. Just put a gene responsible for a disease into the Cas9 protein and it gets cut right out. And it turns out to be pretty easy to put your own edited gene into the spot where you cut. Usually if there's a break in DNA, repair enzymes will put it back together really quick. It might cause a small mutation, but the DNA is complete again and can continue transcribing. And if you have good DNA hanging around, the repair enzymes will just shove it into the correct spot and bam, you don't got sickle cell anymore. It's a bit more complex than that, but that's the gist of it. And CRISPR is universal, they haven't found a single organism it doesn't work on. So the applications are almost limitless.